Hello everyone. I am Zahid Abbas. In this video, we are going to learn about fourth roots of unity in detail. In the previous shared video, we have discussed cube roots of unity. In this video, we shall learn about fourth roots of unity. Let's start from very basic concept of roots. As we have learned in the video about cube roots of unity, that squaring and taking square root are reverse operations. For example, if 2 squared is 4, then square root of 4 is 2. Also, cubing and taking cube root are reverse operations. That is, if 2 cubed is 8, then cube root of 8 is 2. Similarly, taking 4th power and taking 4th root are reverse operations. Mathematically, if 2 raised to power 4 is 16, then 4th root of 16 is 2. In this video, we shall have to learn about 4th roots of 1. Suppose x is the number whose 4th power is 1. That is, x raised to power 4 is 1. If x raised to power 4 is 1, then x raised to power 4 minus 1 is 0. Let's try to solve this equation for all possible values of x. x raised to power 4 minus 1 is equal to 0. This gives x squared raised to power 2 minus 1 squared is 0. Name it as equation number 1. We know a squared minus b squared is equal to product of two factors a minus b and a plus b. Hence, equation number 1 can be written as product of two factors x squared minus 1 and x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. This gives either x squared minus 1 is 0 or x squared plus 1 is 0. This gives x squared minus 1 squared is equal to 0 or x squared minus minus 1 is equal to 0. And this gives x squared minus 1 squared is equal to 0 or x squared minus iota squared is equal to 0 as iota squared is equal to minus 1. This gives product of two factors x minus 1 and x plus 1 is equal to 0 or product of two factors x minus iota and x plus iota is equal to 0. And this gives either x minus 1 is 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus iota is 0 or x plus iota is equal to 0. And so either x is 1 or x is negative 1 or x is iota or x is equal to negative iota. Hence, there are four fourth roots of 1. Number 1, 1. Number 2, negative 1. Number 3, iota. And number 4, negative iota. Properties of fourth roots of unity. Number 1. Among the four fourth roots of unity, two are real and two are imaginary. Number 2. The two real fourth roots of unity are 1 and negative 1. Number 3. The two imaginary fourth roots of unity are iota and negative iota. Number 4. The two real fourth roots of unity, 1 and negative 1, are additive inverses of each other. 
that is 1 plus negative 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 1 which is equal to 0. Number 5. The two imaginary fourth roots of unity iota and negative iota are additive inverses of each other as well. That is iota plus negative iota equals negative iota plus iota which is equal to 0. Number 6. The two imaginary fourth roots of unity iota and negative iota are conjugates of each other as well. That is, conjugate of iota is equal to conjugate of 0 plus iota, that is equal to 0 minus iota, which is equal to minus iota. And, conjugate of negative iota is equal to conjugate of 0 minus iota, which is equal to 0 plus iota, and that is equal to iota. Number 7. The product of two real fourth roots of unity 1 and negative 1 is negative 1. That is 1 times negative 1 is equal to negative 1 times 1 is equal to negative 1. Number 8. The product of two imaginary fourth roots of unity iota and negative iota is 1. That is iota times negative iota is equal to negative iota times iota which is equal to 1. So imaginary fourth roots of unity are multiplicative inverses of each other. Number 9. As iota times negative iota is 1, so iota is equal to 1 by negative iota and negative iota is equal to 1 by iota. Hence, two imaginary fourth roots of unity are reciprocals of each other as well. Number 10. The product of all the four fourth roots of unity, 1, negative 1, iota and negative iota is negative 1. That is, 1 times negative 1 times iota times negative iota is equal to minus 1. Number 11. The sum of all the four fourth roots of unity, 1, negative 1, iota and negative iota is 0. That is, 1 plus negative 1 plus iota plus negative iota is equal to 0. And this was all about this video. See you soon with the next video. Till that, goodbye.